Well hello and welcome to All Saints Church Kids Midweek video. My name is Sarah Thrift, I'm the Minister for Children and Accessibility at All Saints Church. And uh, we've just started a series thinking about Jesus' miracles. And last week we learned that Jesus turned water into wine. <gasps> mm. Now that's pretty amazing, isn't it, as a thing to do. It's pretty incredible. But Jesus didn't just do it for a laugh or to show off. He did it for a reason. And Harry helped us understand that all miracles happen for a reason, to show us something. And in fact, John, the writer of John's Gospel, he described miracles as signposts. Uh, signposts, they point us to something, don't they? They tell us about that thing, uh, or maybe they tell us something to do. Have a look at this video and see what Harry learned about signposts this week. So how are you feeling about going to Legoland, Harry? Oh, I'm so excited. It's great, isn't it? It's going to be a really fun day. <gasps> there it is! There it is. It's everything I ever dreamed it would be. Oh, it's beautiful. Harry, that's just the signpost. Legoland's going to be way better than that. Oh, uh, watch out, Harry. Read that sign. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Help me! Help me! <laughs> While Jesus' miracles are like signposts, uh, they're absolutely amazing, but actually we, don't, we shouldn't just focus on the miracle and miss what it's pointing to. It's telling us something amazing about Jesus. See, Harry got all into that Legoland sign, didn't he? But actually, if he spent his whole time there, he'd miss out on the amazing place that is Legoland. If we spend our time thinking about Jesus' miracles, we forget to think about him and what it tells us about him. And John, he tells us that miracles show us that Jesus is God's special king, the Christ, and he's the son of God. So it tells us something amazing about who Jesus is. But they also tell us something to do, don't they? Like that beware the dog sign. Well, Harry ignored that and, well, it didn't go well for him, did it? It's not going to go well for us if we ignore miracles and just don't pay attention to what they tell us. See, John says that the miracles are written down so that we might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and have life. If we ignore them, then we're going to miss out on having life forever with God. See, Jesus' signpost miracles point to something incredible. And we're going to find out more about a signpost miracle this Sunday. So join us then and we'll find out what his next, Jesus' next miracle is. Well, last week, Harry challenged you to turn something into something else. And Clara and Melody have done a fantastic job. They have turned some ingredients into this delicious looking cake. So well done, Clara and Melody. You are going on my wall of fame. There we go. Thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, this week I've sent around some activity sheets and there's loads of great ideas on there uh, of things that you can make, things that you can try, and I'd love to see photos of them for my wall of fame. Or just send me in pictures of things that you've been up to so that we can see uh, what all of us are doing during lockdown. I hope to see you soon and uh, I hope to see you particularly on Sunday to find out about the next signpost miracle. Bye! <laughs>